So the collective intention that we put out into the collective consciousness is going to make a difference. It's going to help make this a better world. Whatever, whatever we're up against, it's going to affect it in a positive way. All you need is uh, go into your heart, get out of your head, come down into your heart and say what, it, what you wish it to do. Do you want to help a friend heal faster or help a friend in whatever issues someone has? Do you need help yourself? Just ask, put that intention, whatever you want, put it in your own words. There's no specific way you need to do this. The important thing is, Get out of your head if you can. And it's not that hard to do. Just relax, get in a balanced state. Don't do it when you're upset and worried about something. Don't, don't do it then, you know. Go for a walk or breathe some, meditate a little bit, but relax, get in, into a balanced state. And then just drop down from your head into your heart. And then think what it is you wish the OG to accomplish. Put that intention there. It's, it's like we meditate. For example, right now, there's a, a call went out, Bruce Lipton and some of the other people, 11-11, at, at, at 11 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night, take five or 10 minutes and meditate and put healing and health and love and, and abundance and all the good things out to Gaia to Mother Earth, because millions of people around the world are doing that at 11 in the morning and 11 at night. So the collective intention that we put out into the collective consciousness is going to make a difference. It's going to help make this a better world. Whatever, whatever we're up against, it's going to affect it in a positive way, you know? So yeah, it's, it's simple. Intentions are simple. Just be out of your head if you can. We intellectualize, we, we want to understand logic, reason, all of that. We're, we're way too much in our head. Just detune and come into your heart. And the heart is just an amazing, well, they tell us it's a pump, but it's really not even a pump. They're discovering all kinds of new things about the heart that nobody has ever discovered before. I, I'm just starting to dig into that and some of the research I'm discovering is just amazing. It isn't anything that we have been told that the heart is. The heart is very, very powerful and it's, it's a unique, unique instrument. It's way more than a pump. We think it's pump, it pumps the blood, you know, and keeps us going and so on. It's much more than that. It's actually going into a quantum state, what is going there. I'm sure even if you're stuck in your head and you put out good intentions that they will be they will be efficacious as well, you know. But it's better for us to get out out of our head. It's just like when you're meditating. You're not you're not in your thinking logical state. You're detuning, you're counting your heartbeats or you're counting your breaths and you're you're trying to stop the chatter in your head, the mind chatter. And when it finally stops, that's when you know you're close, where you want to get. But it's very difficult to stop the mind chatter. It is so, so, so difficult because we're used to it. The mind is going all the time, you know. Try to not have a thought. It's just like telling somebody, <clears throat> there's a pink elephant in the room and try not to think of it. Try not. Once somebody puts the idea of there's a pink elephant in the room, try to not think that there's a pink elephant in the room. Just, it's a silly thought, it's a silly little exercise. Because we do it all the time to ourselves, you know? But we don't spend a whole lot of time relaxing and stopping the mind chatter. Very difficult. I, I, I have difficulty with it just like anybody else. But when it works, when you get there, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. It's worth the effort.